Good evening, everyone. Myself, uh, Akhilesh Kumar. By academic degree, I am a scientist. By profession, I am entrepreneur. And uh, by this magazine, I am a kind of journalist also. And moreover, I am media partner of Media Fresh India also. So first of all, thanks a lot, media group, for inviting me and giving me this podium to share my experience. Since yesterday, we are listening, lots of people are talking about the potential of a horticulture, commodity exchange, export, import possibility. So either they are one side grower, buyer or seller. I would be talking something in between which is more important on this revolving actually and that is a service sector and lots of startups also coming up but they are facing lots of challenges especially in the context of the skilled human resource. So, first of all myself also register startup under the government of India and uh, what we are doing I would be sharing something. In India, you see the basically three pillars of our GDP, uh, whether it's the agriculture sector, industry sector and service sector. Since we are developing country, especially India and China, Pakistan, most of the people are leaving agriculture and now going towards the service sector after having education or something. But somehow in the agriculture sector, we are lacking the service sector involvement and the handholding support. So if you see the population wise in India, 16% is uh, agrarian economy is there, our, and uh, migration, if you see the less industrialization is there, more industrialized in China and uh, less industrialized in Pakistan. It's kind of general, so more than 54% people are now working in the kind of service sector. And if you are dealing with the agriculture sector and agriculture, these two different things. When you talk about the agriculture, you are dealing with the only the pre-harvest component, which in the beginning, whether it's agri input or it's a crop cultivation. But once you are talking about the agribusiness, you have to deal with the scale and uh, collection center, processing industry and lots of you know, market linkage. To integrate all these things, you need a knowledge. Because being a, nobody can be an encyclopedia. I can be expert of one or two commodities, but I may not be expert for all the value chain. So these are the some basic parameter and where we need a service sector uh, uh, contribution, especially kind of soil report. I have seen most of the people, they do not understand the, how to interpret the soil, water, uh, weather report, SWOT analysis of any project location because in agriculture is a state subject in India. You cannot copy and paste blueberry cultivation is very successful in the Pune, so it will be working very good in Delhi or uh, somewhere else. Then the client intervention, whoever the investor, what they want to do, and uh, government schemes, there are more than, I think, 20 government bodies, they are working in agriculture, but most of the time we are unable to understand which government body is giving which subsidy and what are the parameter. And technology intervention, some technology here also, since yesterday I am listening, lots of technology intervention is there, but which technology will be relevant to you and which may not be relevant to do. So you have to customize as per your need, as per your climate, as per your crop, and there we need again the technology intervention. And project economics, most of the things I think here, if you know all those things, until and unless you are not able to make a healthy project economics, you cannot judge whether this project is viable for your country or your state or your location or not. Similarly, the infrastructure development, lots of greenhouses yesterday and today also we uh, heard lots from the retractable greenhouse from Cryo. Micro irrigation layout, lots of automation is happening and still we are uh, about to you know, upgrade ourselves. And uh, vendor screening for the automation, technical specification, weather station, solar installation, agrivoltic, which is a very emerging field and I think we need to work on this aspect. And water harvesting also and after that autopilot mode once the project having the basic infrastructure from bed preparation till crop harvesting you should have all these knowledge then only you are able to um, you know make a successful project at the ground level i have seen most of the time private sector are very successful while making any project policies and they are implementing at ground but at the same time when i see the government body their project is not very successful since this podium is uh, having both kind of audience, so I would like to share some kind of success and some kind of failure story. Let's say the Macken. Macken, for seven years, they have done the potato multi-location trial across India. And in our schooling, uh, in our university, we have been taught potato is kind of gangetic plain crop and it can grow only the Ganges river bank because it needs a sandy soil. But Macken has found 
the best place for the processing variety potato cultivation is Gujarat. Since during the winter they do not have a fog, there is a sandy soil, they are having plenty of sunlight, they are getting 46 ton per hectare productivity, whereas in North India we are having 22 ton per hectare. So same crop, different location, having different economics. So these are very much important. Similarly, fruit and vegetable supply chain, one of my friends will be sitting here. They are growing iceberg lettuce across the year, not in the hydroponic, not in the protected cultivation. They are only changing the location four months in Haryana, four months in Himachal Pradesh and four months in Jammu Kashmir. So, this is a way the company, they do the proper feasibility study, climate, variety trial and then they do execute their plan and that's why they are successful. Similarly, the Reliance in the Jamnagar refinery, they have made a 600 acre mango orchard and they are exporting and this is biggest hub for the export of quality of mango. Similar, Adani has come up with the Apple and CA store and now you see how successfully they are implementing. But at the same time, if you see the government projects since I am coming from Haryana, I have seen there is a CCDP project from FPOs. Yesterday, someone was asking for the export potential and market linkage with the UA delegates. This kind of project should you have done exercise prior implementing the project report. It is not like you have developed infrastructure and then you are looking for the market. Similar the cold storage infrastructure for potato and similar they have done for the kidney insertion. Problem is that the government is giving subsidy to the FPOs of farmers and they are able to take the subsidy and they are able to build the infrastructure. In kidney case, Lots of farmers were happy that pack house has come and now we will be able to grading, shorting and packaging, we will sell it, our uh, kinu. But what happened, the kinu came, they did the grading, shorting and there was no market. And then they were under stress, okay, what to do now, we are not getting the price. And then Reliance has come up and they took the, their kinu and they sold in the market. So this kind of visionary approach is missing while we are seeing the government project and at the same time within the India when I see the government uh, private sector they are having visionary projects. It's all because of knowledge component and um, similarly one district one project one very f uh, famous scheme government has come but you need to understand agriculture is agroclimatic zone based. You cannot divide it as a territory based. Something is happening in UP, Saranpur district and so that will change in the Bulansar district. So these kind of thing I think uh, it's all because of planning. I don't know how many people are from government sector sitting here, but Fresh India and this kind of podium can be very good for such kind of collaboration. I would be sharing some kind of my advice. So challenges with our education are ND systems. Um, I had a lots of interaction for few people and I most of the time people are complaining we are not getting skill manpower and all those things. So you see, whatever we are studying in our university, touch out, I have done my research in CSIR lab, PhD, I have worked in ICR lab, I have US patent. So I somehow I have understand all the R&D institutes. In university, whatever we have been taught, it's out of syllabus. We are talking for now off-season production, greenhouse cultivation, multi-location trial, but we assume ki Rabi and Kharif crop and this can happen only this period, which is now not happening. Similarly, we are doing research on the publication basis, not for the farmer related or farmer oriented. Lack of practical exposure, our students or even faculty, our scientists, they do not visit. I have been five years in Israel. I have seen how strongly the scientists and frequently they visit the farmer field, which I do not see in India. Similarly, do not interact with the farmer and even traders. Traders are the good source of informer. He, they can tell you what time, what price commodity price will shoot up and lack of business sense and a futuristic vision and similarly not aware about the government policy and subsidy. Today morning Mahapatra sir was talking about the agri-infrastructure fund but I know how difficult and how uh, tough it is to get those agri-infrastructure budget because lots of government they have distributed their share among different government bodies. So these are the some kind of roller coaster to execute any project you need to have this kind of component and then only you will be able to understand and make a good project economics for the project. And it is very important. I have seen in India like uh, one shopkeeper who is selling the pesticide, he has become a kind of you know, advisor or something. And we believe a one agronomist job is enough. But you see uh, Kravo people, how they are talking about the microclimate management and then greenhouse and then production. Somehow in India, we are lacking this kind of understanding. 
plant physiology is very much important, microclimate is very much important. If you are able to cope up with this kind of component, of course you can get the better quality, export quality. And I think somehow we are missing this kind of linkage within India. Just for the case study, because we believe in the field service other than doing the lip service, this project I started one year before in the Kutch, and the owner of this project, Anandini Agroji, also sitting among you people, Mr. Narmak Khanna. And within one year, you can see how translate with this thing, the basic flood irrigation, and then, sorry, these structures we made. Uh, different kind of structure for the prototype key, which this is open field and uh, this is our greenhouses, these are our the team manager, these are kind of crop within one year we have grown and seen the economics, ki which month what crop we can grow and how much price we can get per acre, how much income we can generate. This way each and every project site is unique in itself, in agriculture you have to work accordingly as per the location. So just um, um, Agri startup which are they are coming, how they are seeking the service sector help, these are the sub important thing. Metagenomics. I have seen many times people are trying to grow turmeric, vertical farming. They do not understand what is a metagenomics. Metagenomics is kind of microbes present in their soil. Uh, Meghalaya soil cannot be similar to Karnal soil or you know Madhya Pradesh soil. So those metagenomics affect the metabolic profiling of your any crop, whatever you are growing, whether medicinal plant or even the fruit, vegetable or spices, where GI index that Dr. Mahapatra was talking. Similarly, the plant genomics varieties and metabolomics, which is very much important. How much aroma is there, how much curcumin content is there in turmeric, lots of things in each and every commodities, until unless you do not have basic knowledge traceability test, laboratory test, you cannot face the uh, export market. So this is very much important. Similarly, the microclimate management, as I said it before, the plant nutrition and disease diagnosis, this is a very fundamental knowledge, integrated pest management, post harvest management, food processing technology, nutritional profiling, and integration of the government policy. These are the all different domain, and in our universities, we have been chopped into 26 discipline, and one person who is studying plant physiology, he may not be knowing the soil, or you know, microbiology, or biotechnology, and biochemistry. So that's why we are not able to deliver at the farmer's fields. Since I am sitting uh, at the Fresh India Forum, and lots of the private people are there, I would like to, okay, whatever possible and whatever is, uh, government is doing, that is good, we need to appreciate. But being a private sector, how we can help each other and we can contribute for the nation, these are the sub of my submission. Uh, first of all, whoever is participating in such kind of business event, there should be a business directory, so that not only one day event, this kind of networking event can be across the year. Collaboration um, and R&D um, among the corporate sector. Most of the time some companies coming with some new plant variety and they are doing one place and they are trying to sell across India. And most of the time investor or client they are skeptic about the production yield and performance. I think if some company is working with something we can make network among ourselves and we can do the multi-location trial so that within the short period we will be able to tell the crop economics how much viable and how much fruitful it will be for this location and this uh, states. A skill development which is uh, just uh, last year uh, when I was in Fresh India I met someone Adani and they were looking for the skilled human manpower who can do the grafting between the root stock and the shy for the pot um, apple plantation and they are saying we are helpless we are not getting any universities. This kind of forum is very good for the networking between G to B government to business people but I think somehow we are not able to deliver but I hope this kind of submission if our um, intellectual people from this forum will take we can solve some of the you know challenges of our country and the multi-location trial by professional expert because each and every company they are dealing with some one of the commodities we can help each other and we can generate the data and it will be I think win-win situation for all of us and the compilation of data released by for fruit and vegetables, like this year prediction, onion price will shoot up. Just now one of the, my senior was telling. So this kind of, because it's a very dynamic market. So we have to compile the real-time data. If you go on internet, everything is, you know, not reliable trust. You cannot trust any data because uh, this is kind of cooked data. But if we are sitting at this forum, we can compile this data and that data will be very helpful to make a very good and viable business plan. 
Barren cellar meeting, of course, this is important and carbon and water footprinting. Since we are talking about the off-season cultivation, we need to manipulate the microclimate of any particular location, then only we can grow off-season crop. Because currently in the, our cost of cultivation in India, we are not calculating the energy cost, water cost. But in future, this should be the part of the cost of cultivation, then only we will be able to, you know, meet our 1.4 billion population we have to feed, but we have to take care of the environment also. If soil, water, energy will be not there, there will be hunger and poverty. Thank you very much. I had limited time. I tried my best to compile within the stipulated time. Thanks a lot.